Good evening. New documents prove the Bligh government was warned Wynnum Hospital was plagued by problems that put patients' lives at risk. The damning ministerial briefing obtained by 10 News shows the current controversial overhaul was first recommended two years ago. State political editor Cathy Border is at State Parliament. And Cathy, what else do the documents say? Well, Georgie, this document, as you say, prepared for the then Health Minister, was called for in May 2011 to look at safety issues at the Wynnum Hospital Emergency Centre. Now, of course, the current board there for the Metro South is currently overhauling operations at the hospital, including no access after 10pm, it says, because of safety issues. Now, this no-nonsense urgent report recommended that the former government did just that. And it goes further that the former local member, Deputy Premier and Health Minister Paul Lucas was also well aware of a series of, of serious preventable incidents at the hospital. Safety at Wynnum Hospital has long been discussed, but the former minister received urgent advice in 2011 to approve the proposed conversion of the current 24-hour emergency centre into a seven-day extended hours clinic. Debate rages over the current board doing that, but the memo reveals a series of preventable clinical incidents have occurred and largely blamed on insufficient critical infrastructure to manage patients. The health minister alluded to it yesterday. The previous government had actually been uh, hoodwinking the people of Wyndham about what had actually been operating there. But tonight the detail, the briefing warned of insufficient staff to manage emergencies, the hospital's limited capacity and that it didn't meet basic doctor training requirements. For the Premier in Mount Isa, there were other hospital warnings. We've got a condemned building that's full in the park. But Campbell Newman had a swipe at the nurses' union over its rolling protests over job cuts. Frankly, this is a union that kept quiet while their members weren't being paid. It is insulting. It's insulting to our members. It's insulting to the staff. The union's again protesting, but the Princess Alexandra hospital rally went further. No more cuts! The union claims its rolling stoppages are starting to bite. It's urging members to ramp up their campaign by blogging, tweeting and protesting. They marched into the hospital foyer to the administration block. Elevating tensions with the Newman government and earning this stinging rebuke. If people want to protest, it's a matter for them. But I think it's beyond the pale when they seek to use people in wheelchairs as props and take them into the waiting area of hospitals and chant and disrupt all other patients. The protests now gearing up at Mara Hospital. And that meeting at Mara gets underway at 7pm in a hall that holds 400 people. Many are expecting that it may be overflowing. The acting Premier last week, Jeff Seney, confirmed to 10 News that the hospital there would be downgraded. He won't be at that meeting because he's currently on holidays. But I understand the Central Queensland Health Board Chairman is on his way, Georgie. Thanks for the update. Cathy Border there live at State Parliament.